What's going on everybody? I'm Brian. I'm the Carolina Bushwhacker and I am a licensed taxidermist here in upstate South Carolina. For those of you that have been watching and keeping up with me and following, hey man, I appreciate y'all 100%. Do me a favor, y'all keep hitting that thumbs up now. For those of you that are brand new and this is your first video you're watching on my channel, when you get done with this, feel free to go check out some of my other videos. Do yourself a big favor. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell to get notified. I got so much more that I'm going to bring and share with y'all. All right, let me tell you about what we got going on today. All right, this is what we got going on here this morning. I just took a beaver pelt out of the freezer from back at trapping season. I'm going to show you how I thaw this out on warmer days. I do it a little differently than like I've been doing in my previous videos. It's hitting in the 80s here the last couple of days and it's going to continue hitting in the 80s. We're in the month of May now, so it's a little warmer. you got to be careful certain parts thaw out a little faster than other parts. Then the decomposition is started and you could have hair slippage. So here, let me show you how I do it to prevent that on warmer days. All right, I'm going to start right there from the beginning. So I trapped a beaver. I brought a beaver back to the shop and split it right down the belly and filleted it open. Then I took it, folded it up, wrapped it up in plastic bags, and put it in the freezer for the last actually couple of months now. Now I'm taking it out of the freezer and I'm gonna take it out of the plastic bag. And for those of you who've been keeping up with me, I told y'all, if you're gonna use the Crotan, when you get done with your pelt, don't discard it, save it. Now I'm gonna show you why. Okay, this container here, I've been saving Crotan in for several, several months. When I got done with my deer capes, I would just put it in here and save it up. Not every batch of Crotan I made, because I made quite a few, but I'm going to take my beaver pelt and I'm taking it out of the bags. And what I'm going to do is submerge it in here. It's going to float, but that's okay. I'm going to submerge it in here the best I can. Take my old trusty beaver sticks here the beaver chewed it down i've been using this thing for a long time and i'm gonna push it around in there start to get some of that see the acid in that croton right here right now instantly is eating at any bacteria to get start eating away at the flesh now i'll be around the shop all day so what i'll do is keep coming over here periodically and just flip it and turn it and flip it and turn it and it's about 72 degrees here in the shop, which is okay. So probably the water temperature or tanning formula temperature there is probably about the same, which is okay. You don't want to get any that's too warm like midsummer that you've had sitting in the shop. That might not be good. But we're just going to come over here periodically and keep doing the same thing. And it'll start thawing out and start unfolding. Then I'll show you from there. All right, guys, as y'all can see, it's all thawed out. Good to go. It's been a few hours. Also, you can probably tell that I have not fleshed it. Like I said, it was skinned and just put straight into the freezer. So coming up next, I'm going to flesh it and then get it into a proper tanning batch. And uh, we'll proceed from there. <laughs> 